Hi there. Thank you for viewing this week's video. Let's uh, look at the indices and check out how have they performed and also the outlook for the next week. As expected, in the early part of the week, the market focuses a lot on the war, especially the talk between Ukraine and Russia. The market cheers when the talk was ongoing, hope, hoping for a ceasefire, but sell off when the talk failed to yield any results. Adding salt to the wound is the all-time high CPI data had the market worried, and of course it limited the uh, market's recovery. The week ended with a worrying uh, on the war again, and uh, most of the indices has uh, closed lower in the US market. Now, uh, let's take a look at the chart. So we're looking at the Dow chart over here. As you can see that the Dow begin the week with a sell off due to the ongoing concern of the war. It breaks below this uh, consolidation level at uh, this 3.3080. So it broke down. And the positive takeaway is that uh, it breaks down, but never straight away retest this support at 3.2260. As uh, there are some signs of the war may be ending during the midweek. So uh, there was a rebound over here. But as the top fail, right, uh, we can see the selling uh, recover, uh, returns. And uh, the whole week, the Dow actually consolidated in a, another zone. Okay, so between this uh, 33457 and 32819. Now, if you look at the lines that I've drawn, you can see that uh, the top lines are the downtrend line and the bottom is the... Uh, perpetual uh, uptrend and if of course uh, if the index can uh, break above this downtrend line then uh, we may see some recovery um, if it uh, breaks below this uptrend line and uh, hit below this 32260 it may continue to go lower okay so uh, from the uh, since the turn of the year the uh, index peak at this 3691 something level, and uh, it has uh, hit the low as low as 12.5%. If we enter into the recession, which is around 30%, then uh, we may see a significant uh, downward movement. Wow. Um, towards this uh, 30%, which is around 25,915. But of course, uh, first thing first is typically the index will hit around 20% first. So now we have 12%, which is the low. And if it goes uh, further south, then uh, we may see 20%, which is around 29521. Okay, so it is very interesting to see how this year turned out to be because, of course, everybody knows that the uh, this year is the year where the Fed will try to increase its interest rate. Historically, never in the year of interest rate increasing environment, the indices has gone into a uh, recession. So uh, this week will be something, uh, or rather this year will be something different. If the situation, the inflation gets higher out of control, and uh, the war is prolonged, then uh, we may have uh, something different this year. So uh, watch out, okay? So it is vital for this uh, index not to uh, retest this uh, 32260 and break down from there, okay? So if it breaks down, then uh, we may really see more downward action, especially uh, the the index like to go to 20% and then followed by 30% uh, estimates. So this is what we want to, uh, or we do not want to see rather. So we want to see a rebound here. Now moving on to S&P 500. The S&P 500 started the week with a breakdown as well. 
as uh, it uh, started another consolidation zone similar to the Dow. So uh, it struggles to find its direction. So the positive takeaway is that it hasn't test this uh, 4113 support level, um, but uh, it's still very much in a downtrend as you can see the two downtrend line they have plotted since last week. So the only way to ensure that the index can recover is that uh, it can pierce above these two downtrend line to uh, retest this resistance at 4415. So if uh, it can do so, then we may see a uh, change of trend is on the cut. But however, if it fail to do so and retest 4113, then uh, we may see a uh, downtrend coming on. Now, NASDAQ, high inflation data has always been a nemesis for the high growth tech. And the chart shows that NASDAQ is just treading above its support level at 12.590. The lower closing at the end of the week forms a lower high. And the tech laden index is uh, looking increasingly bearish, especially if it comes back to 12.590. Breaking below this support may uh, suggest a lower action where uh, we are looking at the projected level at 11,260. So uh, <clears throat> the index has uh, corrected 20% since it uh, peaked in uh, the year 2022. And then another you know, 9% will officially put the index into recession. And uh, what we are looking at is, in fact, if you were to measure from the peak, we are somewhere very near to recession already because the index is uh, almost 22% down if we retest this 12,500 support level. So it is very important next week for it to uh, go back up above this uh, downtrend line and come back to this uh, 13,828 in order to uh, return to its bullish way. Moving on, let's uh, take a look at the STI first. Well, the STI uh, has done relatively well after we tested this support at 3159. It managed to hold, forms a bullish engulfing and uh, rebound from there. But however, it is not entirely out of the wood yet as the index is still very much in the picture of the head and shoulder formation as I've drawn last week. He thinked above uh, 3299, break up from there, even higher, can help to ensure its path towards a bullish movement. Um, but crossing down below this neckline uh, over here uh, may suggest the continuation of downtrend, especially if the index retests and break below 3128 then uh, we may see uh, a retest of support at 3066 and of course the projected level is to 2955. And if the index were to go to 2955, then the whole year we will see a, uh, a comprehensive uh, drop of 15%, uh, which is uh, still better than the rest of the world. Okay, so... Um, Let's see whether the index can continue its recovery. Hang Seng, um, let's zoom in first. Huh? So we see Hang Seng uh, last week had broken down yet again, failing to uh, cover its gap. And uh, what we see is that it has plunged to its COVID low as its bearishness continue. Um, in fact, it plunged even lower. So as mentioned last week, um, the market sentiment is certainly not bullish and the market has reflected bearishly as it collapsed to test its uh, support level, which was formed in the year 2016. Hanging by a thin thread over here as we tested it last Friday before the end of the week, the index may continue lower if it breaks below this support level. So far, um, since the turn of 2022, the index has corrected almost 20% and 35% uh, since it peaked in 2022. 
uh, two one. So he has corrected thirty five percent or thirty six percent around there. And uh, we are looking at the uh, two thousand eight uh, Lehman Brother crisis, which the entire global market uh, corrected sixty percent, and. At this level, 11299, this is the 2008-2009 low. So if the uh, index continue to uh, trade lower, the uh, it has uh, still another 30% downside. So uh, if it continues off, rest in peace. Okay, um, wrapping up. Over here, we are looking at the, uh, the index uh, looking increasingly uh, bearish, or most of the index are increasingly bearish. And next week will be a crucial week as the Fed confirms its interest rate. And also the attitude towards the next interest rate height will be very important. Is it more hawkish or less hawkish? If it's a less hawkish uh, tone, then the market may uh, recover some loose ground. Um, thus, it will, in fact, uh, affect the movement of the three major indices, especially they are in the big downturn movement and very much needed a strong boost to change its trend. And of course, uh, not to forget the war in Europe, a third piece stock is, on, is going to take place. And I sincerely hope that there is a permanent ceasefire that can be established for the sake of the poor people living in Ukraine. Hey, Ukraine, stop being a prompt to US and NATO. Well, coming to Asia market, the STI is looking to recover from its recent sell-off and hopes that it can hit its resistance to increase its chance of going back towards its bullish way. And Hong Kong, if the Chinese will live in the 18 levels of hell, you are probably already at the ninth level. Another nine levels to go. Hope that the punishment don't go any further uh, lower or don't get uh, any more worse. Okay, so uh, thank you for viewing this video and I'll see you again.